what's up guys it's Kubano Flame here and I'm going to do a Miroslav Klose record breaker review he is a 90 overall and I couldn't be happier that I could finally get this guy and try him out for myself but anyway guys let's go into the review I found that Miroslav Klose had two star skills and I saw that as a major issue I didn't see his dribbling as smooth because of the two star skills um, he had a four star weak foot though which definitely made up for it Miroslav was easily one of the best players when it came to finishing that I've played with in FIFA this year. Uh, he's definitely one of the strongest players I've played with. His balance was kind of iffy, so he was falling down a little bit when he wasn't uh, on the ball, but he definitely had strength, 87 strength, felt a lot better than 87. Um, he could easily finish from outside the box, but to a certain extent because his long shots is 69 rated, and I felt that that was a appropriate in-game. His long shots really weren't that great at all. I don't recommend on trying them. Uh, but easily a very accurate and a very powerful shot. His shot power is at 99. His dribbling says 94 on the card, but I really didn't feel like it was 94 dribbling. I felt that his agility was not a 90 rated either. Um, I felt that moving in directions in different directions was really difficult for Miroslav Klose and that it wasn't uh, what it looked like on the card. That was a bit of a lie. Uh, his pace too was a bit of a lie. I really don't think it was 90 pace, but his, di his dribbling and his pace were both definite upgrades from his normal card. I mean, that was pretty clear, but it just wasn't what it was on the card, and I was a little disappointed in that. I thought that he would have been faster. He really wasn't that fast, uh, but his heading Obviously, everyone looks at the 99 heading on his card and immediately thinks that his heading is godly. Well, to a certain extent. You know, I found that uh, in this Serie A squad, I was crossing a lot and it either wasn't going on target or wasn't going to Miroslav Klose. Now, there's a bunch of different formations and uh, different squads you could do with Miroslav Klose. You could do Germany, you could do Serie A, whatever you want, you can make a hybrid. But um, I found that with my formation that I used, it was really hard to get shots on target from uh, Miroslav's head. Uh, on corners kicks though, he was kind of misplaced. He wasn't always in the right spot. But when he did get the ball on target, it was going in almost every single time. And that's why I liked Miroslav's closest heading. Um, if, if I had more headers on target, I'm sure that it would have been more of a clear response. But easily, that 99 heading is definitely there. But a lot of these clips that you're going to see are really good shots, really good finishes from Miroslav Klose, and that's really the main attribute that I stress in this card. His shot is just insane. He's definitely one of the best finishers in the game, and I really, if you have the money, I recommend trying this guy out. He's actually really good. But right now, for 2, two mil right around there on the Xbox, uh, he's not really worth it in my opinion. I'd put him at around 1.4 mil and leave it at that, but definitely not uh, 2 million coins worth. Uh, he's definitely worth the tryout though. I really recommend trying Miroslav Klose. He's easily one of the funnest players I've played with in a while. Uh, just need to have a right squad around him and I'm sure you can do well. You need a two, two striker formation is what I recommend for Miroslav Klose. Uh, On to his free kicks. His free kicks were actually really really good. I didn't know that he was a good free kick taker, but his free kick accuracy is really low. I believe it's at 68 rating. But then he has 98 curve, 99 penalties, and then he has 99 power. So that's actually really good, but also really bad because you need that free kick accuracy, obviously. But if he's taking free kicks up closer, I kind of realized that it didn't really matter all that much. Uh, I did score a free kick goal with him and uh, that was the first goal that I scored. But this was also one of the most stressful reviews I've made. In the first seven games, he only scored twice, and he didn't get that many shots on target. So your uh, your gameplay could vary between uh, what Miroslav Klose you're playing with. Um, you know, all these reviews are pretty promiscuous and pretty different. Everyone has a different player and plays differently, so uh, I'm not always right, I'm not always wrong. But uh, thank you guys, please like, subscribe, and comment on what player I should do next. Like and subscribe for more FIFA rated content. And uh, I gave him a 9 out of 10 for this review, and I will see you guys next time.